morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's CatGo coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be talking about everything that there is about fishing in the Dragon Isles. Now, this is to continue with our profession uh, explanation guides. Fishing is a bit weird because it's a secondary profession, so we don't have the um, full talent trees. They didn't really do them for fishing or cooking. They didn't even do archaeology. They just sort of made it with the Dragon Isles expedition reputation even. So it's a bit weird, but there are a lot of things that you can learn. You can progress with it by doing the Tuscar reputation, as well as you can also get some fishing gear and use any fishing pole that you might have had from previous expansions, stuff like that so it's just something that's really cool nice to see them sort of do a little bit of an overhaul but not as much as the other professions but it's also very very useful and we'll talk about that in a moment but be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get out there and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire goal of my channel so anyway let's get into the video so we're going to take a look here at fishing, and with the very first thing that you should do, same with every other profession, is once you learn it, is go to the auction house and buy a uh, buy the gear. So I went with a Draconium Fisher Fiend for 79 perception. Perception causes rare, more rare fish to appear. There isn't really a way to click on these and sort of see the stat values, but that is just going off of the previous stat values from all the other uh, professions that you have perception i think is the best because it gives you a lot of rare fish that you might normally not get um so you're going to be buying that gear now we look here and this sort of just gives us the list of fishing poles as you can see i have maxed my fishing and the reason for that is for a bunch of daily quests around the isles when you're trying to get tuscar reputation whether you want it for to be a better fisherman or if you want it for uh, just completing the renowned stuff, it's just really, really good. So we have this tab here called Specialty Fishing, and this is what really ties in with the Tuscar reputation and sort of how you can progress it. So we have Magma Thrasher Pools, Prismatic Leaper Schools, Rimfin Tuna Pools. So this is uh, the, the uh, Scar Tuscar experts in catching these kinds of fish. So like this is ice fishing. Um, these are, I don't necessarily know what kind of fish these are. They're at the highest points of Dragon Isles, so these are flying fish. Um, they're up on mountains and stuff. And these are, uh, fish, this is lava fishing, essentially, right here. So, those are the things that you can unlock. We take a look here, and we go to our Tuscar. That, this is the ice fishing we were talking about. This is at level 10. Um, at level 5, you sort of get fishing nets, which are very useful. Um, here's the highlands fishing. So this is 6, which lets you fish those high up ones. Um, just sort of super uh, useful with that. Then at 15, we get lava fishing, which is pretty exciting. Um, anyway, that's sort of it with the fishing progression stuff. You can do with that with Tuscar Rep. Now let's talk about these uh, fishing holes now there are a few of them throughout the map but this is the most popular one because this one has daily quests you can do you do these quests they're pretty easy um you just come here and do them um and then this is really interesting um if you place fishing nets and stuff or you just want to sit here and actually fish them all you can get these fish and so we have catch and release scale belly mackerel when we do this quest complete it restocks that but it gives us 100 rep with the Tuscar. You can do this every day. Now, if you were to do a repeat turn in, it only gives you five. So in theory, yes, you could just spend a ton of gold, come here, turn in a ridiculous amount of fish to max out your Tuscar reputation. But I wouldn't recommend that. Um, I would just do these. You know, you can turn in each of these every time and sort of get your reputation up like that. And it can be really, really uh, good for you. Um, and help you go further with your reputation with the Tuscar. So the next things that we're going to talk about about fishing is going to be there's a coin guy that you can go to and trade coins for fishing treasures. He's some here south in the Inoran Plains. And then I'm going to show you how to get your fishing raft, which is very, very useful. So anyway, let's head to the horde. See you when we get there. Whoop. So we've arrived here in Southern Anoran Plains right here. It's actually very close to the Dragon Race, but it is right here on the map. And this is where the Great Swag is located. This is uh, 
pretty much based on the fishing coins and stuff. And when you fish up coins, depending on it, you can uh, get a silver, gold, bronze. You can trade up 15 bronze for silver and then five silvers for gold coins. So one gold coin is 75 um, bronze uh, copper coins. And then you can use these to get these treasures and these treasures will give you uh just a bunch of stuff that's pretty cool so just something to keep in mind and that's what you get when you're out there fishing up coins just something that can definitely uh help you out with that next we are going to go show you how to get your tuscar dinghy which is a very very useful toy and so we will head down to the azure span now see you when we get there Alrighty guys, so we're here at the Tuscar dinghy. Uh, we have done the quest with uh, Rorik and it, it starts right here to sort of unlock it. I've already unlocked it, but it's just like five or six quests that you do here. And then you get to come do this super interesting, fun mini game. Um, but essentially we have to just catch 40 fish in order to earn it. So what we're gonna do is your start is so so very important guys you want to make sure that you are throwing the nets hitting these fish at about center mass every time and then they respawn after five seconds so you want to make sure you turn back here and you're hitting all those fish this early start is what will uh really carry you and in order to sort of get them all you really need to be paying attention it moves fast, but you're trying to get this counter buff here to 40. That uh, 40 number will be what we need to get in order to uh, catch all the uh, fish required for this achievement. So it's actually pretty hard. Once you're down here, this is the final uh, sort of... Um, and, and as you can see, we got 35. We need to get 40 in order to get the achievement. After you complete, you just come back here, talk to him, head back, and yeah. So we're going to just try that again to get 40 to get the dungy. But anyway, guys, that's it for the um, fishing guide, everything you need to know about it, what you can do. Um, there is going to be another guy talking about lurkers. I didn't forget about them. It's just they're sort of rare mini bosses stuff, and it's a completely separate system that we will get into about later. But I just wanted to sort of show you all the stuff that I've learned about fishing, what it can yield, why you should do it, and all that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.